Hello, it's Ruby and today I am once more going to be vlogging my university experience. So today it is Friday, so this time last week it was my very last full day at home, which is very strange because in one way, it seems like I haven't been here for very long at all, but on the other hand, it feels like I have been here for ages. I was talking about it with Liz, who lives opposite me. Um, literally, it feels like this last week has been one of the longest weeks of my life. So I thought I'd just quickly talk you through what I was planning on doing today. Well, the first thing I really wanted to do was Hoover. But I've been told that there's a utility cupboard outside, but I can't find it in the corridor. So just look at my floor. It's so in need of a hoover and I really, really want to hoover it. If you look at that, I mean, I don't know how I managed to get so much stuff on the floor. Um, so I do need to go down and ask about that and where it is. I might actually check my pack. My welcome pack might have some details. So yes, I want to hoover. And then I was going to go to a brunch from the Vegetarian Society because I do want to join that society and I still am going to join it. But I'm not gonna go to that brunch. Um, it starts at 10 and it's currently 9.50. But I kind of don't want to go just because basically I'm coming down with a cold and I know everyone says, you know, fresh as flu and I didn't think I'd get it because I'm trying to be careful and I'm not staying out really late but I guess it's just being exposed to new pathogens, so it does make sense. But yes, I'm not feeling fantastic, and so I don't really want to go out this morning if I can help it. So then from three until five, I'm going to go to a trampolining session, which I'm really excited about. Um, I really want to join the trampoline society because trampolining is really good exercise, and it's kind of a bit like gymnastics. And then at 8 through to 11, I am going to go to a Harry Potter banquet at the firehouse, which I'm really excited for. The location is apparently a lot like the Leaky Cauldron slash the th Three Broomsticks. I can't really get a definite answer on that, but one of those two pubs. I think I'm going to actually try and take a nap today because I'm staying out quite late and I'm feeling really tired because I'm ill. So I think I'm going to try and do that. I just don't want to be feeling really bad when... My lectures start because the first week is not the best time to feel ill. Yeah, so that's my plan for today. Um, I think I'm just going to get started with doing some lecture prep work because I've found a few recommended readings and also handouts from my first few lectures. So I'm just going to look through those, you know, get a head start. Okay, so I'm basically on page five of this reading and it's eight pages, so I'm kind of getting there. It's taken quite a while because I'm really trying to reflect on it, um, but I'm going to get a strapsol. This is my medicine bag. It's so disgusting, I'm sorry. Okay, so this evening there is a Harry Potter quiz night and I am going to do some recap of Harry Potter trivia ready for this quiz. So I'm going to give you a really quick update as well on how I'm finding 
making friends and things at university because in my second vlog I spoke about how it's actually more difficult than I might have assumed. When I filmed that video I'd been at university for pretty much eight hours because the day before I literally wasn't at university at all. I went and dropped off my stuff and then I went out with my parents. So I had I'd had about eight hours to play with and to see people and meet people. It, it sounds really, really silly because I didn't expect that I was going to be able to find, you know, some really great friends in eight hours who I would then be friends with for ages. But at the same time, a part of me kind of expected that, which is quite weird. Um, but funnily enough, so the evening that I filmed that video, I went to this curry night with my friend Liz and we met two people, we met Kieran and Katie and now we're kind of all in a group together so there are maybe about 20 people in this group and we've been meeting up pretty much every evening so I do have a group of friends now and um, I mean lots of people say that your group, your friendship group will change a lot um, from Freshers Week to you know, next week and things. But I've made quite a few friends on my course now and also this group, which I was just talking to you about. The reason that I was, I kind of opened up quite a bit in that first video saying, you know, actually it's harder than you might think. I wanted to talk about that because I know that lots of people who are going to university might be worrying about that. I think it's something that people do worry about, you know, especially if you've got quite bad social anxiety and the prospect of just going up to somebody and saying hi can we be friends is quite daunting and that's why I wanted to address it. Now in this video I just want to let you know that try not to worry too much. I think if you are actively engaged and you try and go to events, I mean don't just stay in your room. So I've made a real effort to, yes I'm in my room this morning actually because I'm feeling quite ill and I don't want to go out. At the same time I think it's so important to go to social events, you know for example if the Theology Society is holding something, I'm going to go to it. Or if the Philosophy Society is doing a meetup, I'll go to it. And it just gives you a chance to actually meet people. Also just saying hi to people when you see them, I think is so, so important. The value in smiling at somebody and saying hello is so much more powerful than I think we realise. And it can spark a friendship. So just keep that in mind. Um, and it's nothing to worry about if... So as long as you engage, as long as you don't isolate yourself you won't be isolated because everyone is so friendly, especially in this first week. Everyone's saying hi, everyone's in the same boat and you can pretty much go up to anyone and have a conversation with them. I've probably met about 70 people, uh, which I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. It's just, you know, you see someone and then you might walk up the hill together or you might walk to um, the marketplace together or something and you just end up meeting all of these people. Yeah, so I just wanted to quickly say that I hope that that's helpful to some people maybe um I'm just kind of trying to help to ease the anxiety which might come with moving to university because I know that friendships is just one more thing to worry about hopefully me talking to you about this is helping to ease that anxiety to some degree and if you still are anxious or anything I'm happy to do a Q&A about making friendships in Freshers Week or something along those lines if you'd like to yes okay so now I'm just going to get started with doing this work because I said that I would, but I wanted to talk to you about that first. So, meditate, yes. Clear table, no, I haven't done that yet, so let's do that now. Okay, post power nap, curtains are open again, bed is remade, I was just so tired and I still am. It's, I just really want to get over this illness and I can't seem to, not that it would just go away from lying down for... 20 minutes. I'm just going to quickly do my hair. It's quite messy at the moment. So I decided to curl my ponytail. It doesn't usually take very long because it only takes about five minutes to do. And I really like the way that curly hair looks. So I'm trying to get an angle where you can actually see the backs. It kind of goes out loads, but it doesn't matter. 
Okay, so I just went down to go and collect my mail. Post, sorry. American. And so much has come for me, I feel really bad. I thought everything would come in one container, um, as in one box from Amazon, but there are five packages here. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing, show you what I've got. Mounted to open is, look, um, basically this one is from Free Prints. Um, so this isn't sponsored, uh, by the way, but um, Free Prints, it basically allows you to print off loads of photos. And I think it's your first 45 you get for free. So I ended up paying eight pounds for kind of 120 or 30, which is really, really good. And I also got some from La La Lab, which were, which were pricier, but I like the design of them. This one is an oven mitt, I think. Yes, it is. So oh, I love this so much. This is what the one that we have at home actually. And it was quite pricey, it was 10 pounds, but I really, really love the Emma Bridgewater ones. So then I've got this box from Amazon. I'm kind of wanting to open this one though, because I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay, basically I ordered a poster, Matilda the Musical, to put up on my pin board. I like this a lot. Matilda is my favorite musical, if you didn't already know, so box number one. I'm going to have one of these goodies gingerbread men. Yes, these are technically for babies, but they're really, really good. Not suitable for children under 12 months. Um, these are basically for toddlers, but I love them. Oh, there's so much packaging. Basically, my Nutribullet, um, I brought it with, but the tiny things on the side, there are these tiny things here, which basically press down to trick to trigger the um, machine to actually work. It's kind of three buttons and one of them's broken on the one that I bought. So I ordered another one because it's really hard to use it. I'm having to use like, a piece of plastic and push it, pushing the button down with that. I ordered an umbrella because I forgot my umbrella. And also a calendar. Look at this calendar. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and put it up. Okay, so the calendar I ordered, Starry Nights 2019, I ordered a 16 month calendar, which basically means that it should go from September and then through to next December. Um, and I'm just checking to see that I actually ordered that one because sending it back is gonna be such a pain and it's such a nice calendar as well. Maybe I should keep this and then just print off one calendar sheet. It feels quite bad. It feels like I shouldn't do that. you're writing about it. We're at the trampoline in. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's basically just an open session for two hours and you can just come and jump on the tra on the trampolines. Uh, it looks like really good fun. I think I'm gonna join. I'm just walking back from the uh, Harry Potter quiz night and I've just oh, bumped in. Fun. It was really good fun. <laughs> I didn't know. Good. Do you like Harry Potter? I do. Yeah. I like Who doesn't yeah. like Harry Potter? Ha yeah, how can you not like Harry Potter? That's yeah, the real question. Have you been to the Yeah, yeah. You have to go to the world. It's so good. I went to London as well. Oh yeah, so I was just gonna say I bumped into these amazing, really lovely people. Hello. Um, hi, hi. And yeah, just wanted to say hi. First of all, sorry for the inconsistency in vlogging. And second of all, look how amazing the pinball behind me looks. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and have a productive week.